What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Traveling Eddie, and we're going places, and there's no gimbal in the show today, but the show must go on. I'm here in Coyoacan. La Caldia means like a neighborhood or something. And that's a theater here, but I think they're not having any functions because right now it's the red light district. I mean, the red light system here, meaning some things are closed, but most things are still open because the, the show must go on in terms of the economy. And people, man, are really freaking touchy, really sensitive here. I don't know what. Security guards, some cops. Some of these neighborhoods have the names of uh, cities in Europe. Vienna, the street behind me was Madrid, the previous street, and this avenue is called Centenario. And it's a pretty calm looking neighborhood, but some of these security people are big gremlins. Just because I don't want to say the bad word. Why am I saying that? Because they're looking at you, they're giving you a dirty look. Like, what are you doing? You can't do that. I've had some people come up to you, you can't film, you can't record. I'm like, I'm in a public space, what are you talking about? The other day it happened to me at a park in the Santa Fe area. Oh, look at this nice little complex here. So it happened to me in the park called La Mexicana. And then I, the guy comes up to me when I just finished my video. And he says to me, sorry, park rules, you can't film inside because that will be bothering the people that are here because they had the gourmet restaurants and everything. I'm like, I looked around me and even the lady with her kids, white, blonde lady, Mexican, probably from some uh, white European descendants, looked at me like, and that guy is like funny, like, what is he, an idiot? I'm doing videos with my kids right here too. She just looked at me and at the guy like, yeah, that guy's nuts. And then I looked at the, uh, the rules at the entrance of the north gate of the park. And what did it say? Nothing. Not one single thing about that being illegal or prohibited. People are just being a-holes right now during this time. Look at this street. It says Berlin. That's the name of the street. And Alcaldia Coyacan means the neighborhood. This next street here is called Londres. Londres is London in English. So we're looking for something. I'm going to ask. So ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching... A nice little surprise here for those of you who like surprises. Let's see if some of you can guess what the surprise is just by what you see. No, it's not the coconut. It's this house. Do you know who used to live in this house? Do you know? No, the answer is not Coco Beware from the WWE days. Not, not Coco Beware. <laughs> this is the museum house of, and let the name speak for itself, but today's a Monday and it's closed. But I just wanted to come walking around here and show you where it is. I'm going to go across the street to that beautiful looking wall there, entrance to somebody's other's home. And the trolley is coming this way. And this is on Londres Street, Londres Street. Maybe if you take this little tour trolley thing, maybe it passes right through here. Right now he's probably telling people, this is the Frida Kahlo house. But he's going nice and slow like I am. 006, and I'm 007, I'm 00 Eddie. I'm double O traveling Eddie. So let me give you a nice little pan, it's beautiful. I'm just taking a nice stroll and that behind those walls, that's where the house was of Frida Kahlo and Diego Riviera, the wife and husband. If you're liking this video so far with my complaining or whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> give it a like and remember to subscribe to the channel because it's free subscription and it helps the channel grow, it helps me grow. Thank you. I want to be Richie Rich in 2022, making $2,000 a month. Hey, anything's possible. Why not? Why not? I know they're selling some apartments, and they say they're selling for 3788000 Mexican pesos. Divide that by $20, and you'll get an approximation. And it says they come with two bedrooms, and they're brand new, pre-sale. 
uh, two rooms, two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, and two parking places. Three minutes from the Koyok, Koyokan Center. Uh, I'm not joking when I tell you that. That's where some people live. Nice place, nice little apartments. And it looks like it's one driveway per vehicle or two vehicles fit in each driveway for each gate. This is a very calm neighborhood, Koyoakan. If you're ever considering living here because of work or studies and you've got the money, it's a very calm area. Not as congested or as uh, filled up with, you know, coffee shops, cafes and restaurants like Roma Norte or Roma Sur or Condesa or Hipódromo or San Miguel de Chapo. Pultepec, this area is much quieter. Look, that's a house there on the corner. How beautiful that looks. Now remember guys, you can participate in terms of leaving comments or questions in the comments section down below. Even the subscription button is down below. The like button is down below. Everything is down below. So we are still here in Coyoacan. Coyoacan. And um, I'm going to make this particular video short so that you don't get too tired. I know some people have a lot of things to do these days. So this is part one coming to an end right now, basically. And part two, stay tuned. Here in the Alcaldía de Coyacán. And this is Traveling Eddie, baby. Y'all... Take care, stay cool, and stay in the school of life. Not school, but the school of life where you meditate on the things you do. And if you can see through your thoughts and beyond rationality, boy, a beautiful world opens up.